Hey everyone, Solly here from Flex FM, and I'm joined by my good friend and former Flex FM artist, yeah, Mr. Ashley yeah. Waters. It's good, my bro. You good? You good? Yeah, bro. It's been a while. Yeah, of course, man. How you been? I haven't seen you in a minute, though. As well, it's been New Year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while but since we was uh, smashing raves. Um, but you've been working on. Yeah, I've been. In, I got back from South Africa on Friday, um, shooting the specials for Bulletproof. Well, that's what we're here for, to discuss all things Bulletproof, not just to have a catch-up. Um, I'm lucky enough to have seen the first three episodes. Oh, you I watched all three, yeah? I watched all three. It starts with a bang. Um, mm. I want to address that first of all, because like I would say, we've done a few miles together on the road. Yeah. We've been all over the country, yeah. and I've never seen you drive, let alone drive like that. <laughs> I do all the driving, so I need to know, who was actually driving for you, or was it you? <laughs> it's me driving, Yeah, man. It's me driving. And yeah, I don't do long... You know I don't do long distance driving, so if we've got like an eight hour drive or something to Scotland, that's you, bro. I've had like a day's intensive rally course. So they sent me somewhere for, to, to do that, where you learn J turns and, you know, spins and donuts and stuff like that. Like, proper simple, simple bit. Um, but with a, with when it comes to kind of the actual driving, it was just literally like watching the stunt guys, man. Another good thing about the show, which I think you've got a perfect mix of, is the drama and the humor and the action the show is like it's built on the relationship between these two guys um at the end of the day and how they bring each other up and how they bring each other down and kind of everything else is like you know essentially things that you probably see you know there's other shows with action there's other shows with cars exploding and you know what i mean people chasing each other and, and gun battles and stuff like that but actually I don't think there's a show that has like the two, you know, the two leads that, you know, have so much fun and you enjoy watching them go through things. And that's, I suppose, why you can be like in a moment of craziness or, you know, despair or whatever, and then be laughing with them the next minute because our, our whole take is every, every day we say to each other on set, we're like, just lean into it. So if something's weird, we lean into it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like... It, we, we start asking see questions. Can, like, start tugging at it and see well, if it can even, go a bit more. Well, even in, in our improvisation, I mean, there's like, you know, in the specials that we just shot, there's one of the, the, the tops that Wardrobe gave me. It's like a belly top, bro. It's like, it was just too small. So it's only when I got on set, I realised that it's too small. But by then, it was too late. We already started filming. So, you know, I've got a vest on underneath it, but you can see the vest most of the time. Like, and it's like a belly top. And no one just like, Oh, what's that? Your daughter's top. <laughs> so it's just for you. It wasn't like it was a. No, no, no. It was just a mistake. It was a mistake. It was oh, like right. a wardrobe mistake, malfunction. But we just leaned into it. So through the whole process of me wearing this top, every minute knows that. <laughs> you want to tell me something? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your daughter's top? You know, and that's how we find the comedy yeah. and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like being really obvious and leaning into it, exactly what's there. When you know first had this idea, um, and to. S- from that, from then, yeah. and when you guys sat down and we were having a conversation, yeah. to just finishing filming a special in South Africa and obviously whatever's hopefully coming next, yeah. could you have, was, is this how you envisioned it? Did you think it was going to be this big? No, Did, no, no. Not at all, not at all. I'd like to sit there and go, yeah, of course I knew this was going to happen, but not at all, but I mean, we, we didn't even know we'd get it made in the beginning because, um, I suppose 10 years ago or whenever it was, there just wasn't this much diversity Mm -hmm. on on, on screen. Um, And just people couldn't understand a world where there'd be two black leads. Like, you know, there was talk about, what's the poster gonna be? You know, like, how is it gonna work or whatever? And it was literally execs were like, yeah, if you, you know, get Benedict Cumberbatch to play one part and one of you guys can play the other part or whatever, then maybe it can work. Or one get, of you had to be a bad guy. Yeah, we get Tom Hardy or one of these guys or whatever, and that, that was that was it, which we kind of understood. And it wasn't, you know, I, I never say that that was racism, those people saying that it was more, it was more, you know, them checking numbers and going, you know, well, we're just not going to be able to sell this anywhere or whatever, people won't buy it. Um, but I'm glad we stuck at it. We made sure that we didn't, you know, let anyone change it or whatever. And, you know, it's just gone from strength to strength. And you have to be, I have to pinch myself sometimes because, you know, not only are we starring in the show, but we created it. It was our baby. And, and you're right, like that conversation where we first sat down in the Starbucks. There are other um, coffee places. 
but um, when we sat down in that Starbucks in, 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 in Tottenham Court Road, and you know, I splurted out that I, I splurted out that idea to know, and he started typing or whatever. Coming all this way has been been amazing, and we're just like happy that people love the show as much as we do. Man, and our vision is you know gone from page to to just being tour around the world. Realized, yeah. Is there someone new that joined the team that you were like, uh, do you know what, I absolutely love their character or they blew me away on set or I wish uh, they're, hot, they're not in the next season? Yeah, no, I think, um, no, no, no. no one, <laughs> you it, just it, caught that one. Yeah, yeah I was like, oh, <laughs> I hope they're not in. No, there's no one I would hope that, that they wouldn't be in it. And I think there's, everyone's amazing in new additions to the cast. Um, obviously, I mean, we got, I don't know whether I shouldn't talk about that one, but maybe... Um, you're talking about the new girls on the team. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got um, Lucy Shorthouse, who plays Paige. Right. Um, and Olivia Chenery, who yeah. plays Scooch. Yeah. Um, or Scarlet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're both, like, kick-ass characters. Music plans this year? Yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, I'm making I mean, I know, I know, but can we tell the Flex FM yeah, I'm listeners make, I'm, I'm, what's I'm, coming? I'm making music. You, I, I'm not going to be locked into, like, dates, times, or whatever. Like, that's one thing. I but there is a lot of music I coming. Do, but there's a lot of music coming. I've been making music, like, you know, anyway. Yeah. I've been in the studio solid for, like, the last year, pretty much. Um, I built up a nice body of work. I've still got a few more sessions that I'm going to do. I'm going on with a few, like, prominent um, producers in the next couple of months. But the plan is, hopefully, to have a project together and ready to release at some point, you know, around the end of this year. Look at me locking myself into a time already. Um, Exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's definitely, I mean, in the next few months, well, the next two months, I'm going to be releasing um, another single. Yeah. So, um, which is like a follow-up to, um, to Top Boy, um, which came out uh, previously. So, yeah, watch this space. What heavy rotation on Flex, that record. Oh, is it? Yeah, heavy rotation on it's only right, it's only right. You better let the rest know, I'm in on the 3-14 for the get-go, let's go. They say you take all the food, that's why I'm at the top boy. Yeah, there we go. Really but, Bulletproof <laughs> starts on Sky 1, March the 20th. March the 20th. All right. the episodes in one go, I've just found out. Yep, yep. So yep. you can binge them. Definitely don't miss it. When we coming down, Flex, bro? Soon, man. Why are you not trying to put me on the, put me on the spot? Look at Carlos cracking up. <laughs> Look at him. Flex, Love. Bro.